Inside this ampule is a mix of chemicals called nitrogen oxide. But at normal temperatures, they're actually gases and not liquid. So in this video, we're gonna make, liquefy and store in ampules those nitrogen oxide. There are actually two of them that we'll make today. The nitrogen trioxide, which is blue, and nitrogen dioxide, which is orange. But first, how do we make them? There are many ways of making them, but my method is to react copper metal with some nitric acid. This reaction generates copper nitrate and the nitrogen oxide. Second question, how do we condense the gases? NO2 condenses below 21 degrees and N2O3 below 3.3 degrees. So it's gonna be a little bit tricky with the usual setup, but it might be doable. Perchance, it's very cold outside at the moment, like minus 10 degrees, so this will help cool the gases. It's very important to condense everything because NO2 can be toxic with long exposure, and I don't wanna die. Third and final question, how do we store them? Because there are gases at normal temperatures, we need to store them in an ampule. What this does is that even though the temperature will go higher than the boiling point of the nitrogen oxide, the ampule will pressurize the gases so that they always stay liquid. Now, before doing the reaction, we need to prepare the ampule in advance. So here's a little tutorial. First, we take a small borosilicate test tube and a blowtorch. We heat the top of the tube slowly to not break it, and we carefully melt in a circle all around the top area to extend the length of the tube. And when this is done, we need to let it cool down very slowly so that it doesn't crack. And here you have your homemade ampule. Let's do the reaction now, shall we? The apparatus is just a distillation setup with the tube at the end, but I will change it later. Nitric acid, which is our reagent, is, as you probably know, not easy to make. So my first idea was to instead use a mix of sulfuric acid and potassium nitrate to form the nitric acid in situ, which means directly in the same flask as the copper. I loaded up the flask with copper and KNO3 and added slowly the concentrated sulfuric acid with the addition funnel. Okay, yes, so it's working. As we can see, it's a little bit brown. A brown who? You? How, how the fuck do you say? Hue? Who? Anyway. The reaction was somewhat walking and I got some bubbling, but not a whole bunch, sadly. So I tried heating the mixture with the hot plate, and it still wasn't good enough. So I decided to change the setup. The nitrogen dioxide generation was too slow, and I could not condense any with the sulfuric acid method, so instead, I decided to use my valuable concentrated nitric acid. And oh boy, it worked brilliantly! I immediately condensed a bunch of nitrogen oxide, and the flask even looked red. So at the bottom of the receiving flask, we can very well see the bluish color of the dinitrogen trioxide. It's not completely blue because it's made with some NO2 as well. Okay, so the when, the, when the reaction is finished, you can actually see the copper nitrate precipitating out. So yeah, we got a nice precipitation that's looking very good. I'm gonna use this in another video probably, or I don't know, maybe stockpile it. And here, oh boy, look at, look at this bad boy under the light. So yeah, this is a dinitrogen trioxide. And if we pass, some oxygen through it, we can get the, the, NO, the NO2 gas, a uh, liquid I mean, sorry. I first wanted to make two ampules, but the second one broke and I had no test tube left, so I decided I'll just put everything in one. For that, I have this tiny funnel, but it's not very practical, not gonna lie. Uh, anyway, after spilling some, we take the ampule and blowtorch at maximum power, and on the fine neck of the tube, we melt. I've lost the footage of this, but basically we just melt the test tube until it becomes completely closed. Then I made a little styrofoam box to protect it from shocks, and we're done! But now, we also left with some copper nitrate, that I'll store for another video I guess. Anyway, that's all, go touch some grass now, 